Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 Parade of Camps episode. And you're not going to believe where this person built. Volatile Buddha has built inside a power pylon. Now, I know as a builder that getting these floorboards to actually line up is extremely difficult and insane. That none of them stick out, and it's, it's perfect. It blends, it blends perfectly. perfectly. It is quite the, the oh my goodness, the, the base is incredible. Let me just get, get down, down there. there. He, he does, does not have, have a, he or she, she does, does not have, have a microphone. microphone. And they've allowed me to come on by and, and take, take a, a look, look at their, their camp. camp. And as you can see, the pet, pet wolves, wolves are asleep. asleep. I've got, got some ramps here. here. It really it amazes me that it's still, still like flat grass down, down here. here. Water purifiers. Cooking station. Oh, oh, more, more dogs, dogs sleeping. sleeping. So this is the main power fusion generator. It took them six hours to build, which is amazing. We're getting all this lined up. And the second floor is set back a little bit. Head up to the next level. Some really nice sound in here, too. All the creaking from the power pylon. The first builder that I've seen use the uh, called Nixie lights or light, sorry, light boxes. Also, her balcony. This is crazy, insane build. This is where we are. We're, we're overlooking the, the Grafton, Grafton Dam. Dam. Great, Great view from up here. here. Back, Back down. down. There, there he is. He is. He is. Thank, Thank you so much for allowing me to tour this, this amazing build. build. I'm seriously, seriously impressed. impressed. I know, I know how. Thank, thank you very much, much too. Make it all the way around the wheel. There, there we go. No, I'm, I'm serious in the I know how difficult it is to get um, something to match up at a pre-existing location, and to make it this beautiful is uh, very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Well, thank, thank you so much, and I'll see you out in the world. Take, Take care. care. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 Parade of Camps episode. I am here with Gamer for Life 76. How are you doing? I'm good. And we are, again, for a very different build in the middle of the New Gad Lake. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Tell me about your build. Well, I wanted to put up a 
hotel for new players, uh, especially with the new update coming out soon with vending. I, I, I wanted to have some, a place where people could come and when you're starting off, it's rough. So I made the Anchor Inn. I'm going to put a um, sign on top for Anchor Inn. Uh, still some updates to come to the hotel, but I'm hoping a lot of people are able to visit and be able to you know, help them in the beginning because I know how hard it can be, and I'm a huge fan of Fallout, so I want to see it succeed. Oh, it will. It has, and I think it's going to continue to grow. I'm just looking at all the crazy wiring you did. Let's take a look inside. Yeah. Well, Damn. Because it was uh, part of the anchor in, I came with the idea, uh, put a little light highlighting it and put some, you know, tomatoes down there. Uh, just a little basic building spot just for everybody to be able to do their crafting, have every basic need, uh, cooking spots and radio. A couple of lights. I, I've actually watched one of your videos and saw that you could put lights on top of these. <laughs> So that's a that's a cool thing. It's new stuff all the time. I just learned how to put the the uh, pass through conduit, and also another yeah. trick somebody showed me was um, on a wall have a doorway, put your uh, power pylon or power switch in the doorway, and then replace it with a wall and it's actually a power switch that, that can be embedded inside the wall. It doesn't go away. So yeah. To learn new That's what I did with the wires for this one is uh, changed it to a wall to get the wire to pass through. Yep. These are great tips that everybody can use that they don't tell us about that, you know, you learn from other yeah. players. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, that's I learned just one. by watching other videos, yeah. Cool. And, and that's, that's pretty much the basic downstairs. downstairs. I like the setup down here. It makes it really easy. The doors aren't locked, so anyone can come in and leave and go as they please. Uh, most, most of the, the time, time I forget to close the door when I leave anyway, so it's mostly open. Um, I can take you upstairs on this side. Sure. I have two rooms that I built. Um, they were more of a you know larger style room for people to stay in. Each one has a stash box and a bed in it and uh, access to a balcony. It's a nice little hangout spot. It, it allows for, you know, to be able to uh, relax on your trekking through killing super mutants. <laughs> True. How many rooms are in the hotel? Uh, right, right now there are four. There are four uh, visitor rooms, people, ones that people can use. Uh, and then there's my personal penthouse suite on the top. How long did it take you to build all and this? It took me, uh, to, to get, get it right, right and to make sure I had enough concrete, it took me about about an hour and a half. Um, wow, that's fast. And then I added little things here and there. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half. I actually rebuilt it uh, five times before I got it to what I wanted it to be um, within one day. It took me about six hours till I finally came up with the right build. That's pretty good. Something that I was good with. Uh, and then on this side, when you pass underneath the stairs, I kept it open so you can just walk back and forth. These two small rooms are just smaller visitor rooms. Uh, same basic thing, just so people can have a place to rest. Um, you know, get that little bit of extra XP percentage. And then if we pass back through here and take the stairs upstairs, this room is locked, uh, my personal room. But I made it kind of spacious for myself. This is really nice. Ah, a couple of nice chairs. Yeah, I love the inside of nice the brick one. walls. I love the whitewashed concrete. I do too. I, I really liked um, the way that it, it looks, how it's weathered, and reminds me of it's just everything Fallout. This whole game is everything that I've wanted it to be. So. That's some serious, complicated roofing up there. That's where I always kind of. <laughs> 
goof up and yeah and this light's cool i like the way you put the brick here too so it wasn't just wood just a little brick on the outside the red the red brick up yeah there. it, it uh, uh, kind of changed it up a little bit, bit to give it a little contrast, contrast. yeah this is very the nice. roof was fun <laughs> i know that Thank word you. fun is <laughs> yeah that's that's, <laughs> that's true it, it got, got a little frustrating at times, times but yeah you run out of, of materials quickly uh, with concrete. So. Yeah, it can be expensive. It's not like wood and steel. There's a very, very few locations where you can get a good, cheap supply of concrete. Yeah, I ended up having to... I bought a bulk concrete at one point and then um, bulk acid too. But yeah, I, uh, I love building. This is my favorite part of uh, the additions to Fallout's franchise. I have a little basketball hoop over here. Ooh. Extractor for... And then an extractor for scrap steel. Uh, I know that it's easier to come by, but when you're first starting off, anything helps. So I figured to slap down one of these, and we have some visitors uh, usually over here that don't get very far with these heavy machine gun turrets. Uh, they, they try. try. Thank you very much for the tour. I appreciate it very, very much. Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp tour episode. I'm here at the home of DJ Spree, and he's invited me in to tour his home. Hello, welcome everyone. Um, come on in. Thank you. So he has this awesome trader booth with a waiting room. He's getting set for trader vending. There he is. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Let me let you in through the garage door. Thank you. And welcome to my pad. You guys are not going to believe where I am. This is the Quonset um, hut that's next to the uh, cat lady's house. Oh, yes. Plenty of plastic at the cat lady's house. Yes, you won't be um, hurting. Take you a rad shower if you want. Absolutely. And come on upstairs. On this little bedroom area. Got the band set up, the table, the pool table. Um, this is the vault wood floor in the atomic shop. That's really cool. I didn't know that's what it looked like. Yeah, I, I have the cool. other one that are the giant yeah, squares. Yeah. I've never seen this floor before. Where did you get this one? Um, this was a one day only um, floor in the atomic shop and I snagged it up. It was a 24 hour thing and I had to get it. That's really neat. Wow, you've got a lot of these uh, yeah. mounted heads already from the uh, cryptid event. I've gotten everything I could find. Um, I'm kind of waiting on the new, uh, the other ones, the new ones. I really want the scorch beast head. I want the bloat fly one. And, uh, <laughs> I want the bloat fly oh, one yeah. so bad. Because I've got a little restaurant. So how did you manage to get these floors to stick up there? Just. Um, I kind of just figured out how to put this one foundation on the bottom here. And... Okay. Put the stairs and then just, you know, it just gave take you it across a... and... This is amazing. It was just high enough. So this is the it main... It was just challenge. high enough for a second floor. And, um, 
Down here, I've got my crafting area. This is cool how you put um, the stash box it. here on the forklift. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I use the glitch to get these these tato plants on this table. Um, I use the mats. I use mats, and then. Over here in this area is my brewing and distilling area, and I've got just enough razor grain and corn to make whiskey, because I'm a melee character. Mm. So that's where I keep that. I keep a stash right there so I can easily switch out drinks and everything. Yeah, that's been a fun option, having the ability to for brewing and distilling. But I'm curious as to how you got these water purifiers to come down on cement. Oh, there you are. Uh, mats. 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 Mats are dirt. And I'm not sure if that glitch works anymore, so I've just left it alone. And yeah, I've got a nice little office for when you come in the front door. And... A little area to sit and warm your hands by the fire. And I've got a, a door with a key code. Oop. Let me get back in here. There we go. There's the famous house full of plastic. See That's an incredible build. It truly is. I've visited this people come and see the side view here, they'll know the location I'm talking about. So not only has he built inside, up two floors, he's added buildings on either end. That, that's really incredible. Thank you, thank you. And I've only seen one of these in a video, the red rocket. Oh, right. oh you wanted yeah. To you wanted to show me this. We didn't. I didn't realize that this actually did something. This is new in the atomic shop. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Check this. Boom. That's so nice cool. little animation. So we are going to go off team before we. Thank you. First of all, thank you so much for the tour. I think it's incredible. I think you felt. You, you captured what this place was. Not only do you have to still pick a lock at the front and back of the Quonset Hut building, and you've built so much inside. It's really cozy. I love it. But he told me that... Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, to launch the rocket, uh, we have to be hostile towards each other. So... Okay. No, we're okay. We're okay. Dude. We're good. Okay. Didn't break cool. It. All right. Okay. We're done now. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Hang on one sec. I'm there waiting for the attacking thing to be attacking. Here we go. I'll try it. I guess I can. Oh. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it exploded. Oh my god. I thought it launched up and then blew up. There's pieces of it. Oh my goodness. We better get back on, let's get back uh, on team really quick. Uh, okay. Okay. Inviting to team. Uh, that that was uh, interesting. That's the uh, there we go. So see if I can help you repair that. Yeah. At least I can do is repair it for there you. There we go. I've never seen that. This must have been one of the original pieces in the atomic shop. So that's uh, pretty cool. Well, thank you again for, for taking the time to to allow me to come and check out your home. I I really loved it. I think it's it's I like it. I mean, there's when I first saw this, I thought it's. It's not for everyone because there isn't a lot of room on the bottom floor, but the way you fit mm -hmm. in all of your benches and water purifiers, brewing stations, and then had a beautiful living space on the second floor 
That's that's incredible. And then left room for your trading post at one end. So everybody, remember DJ Spree 432. If you see him on Xbox, come and use his vending area when we get vending for in sure. the next month. Again. For sure. Anybody, stop by. Stop by. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Thanks so much. Have a good day. All right. Thank you.